What's going on guys? My name is Tefty Teft. Welcome to another Planet Destiny Duelcom. It is a it's a special special nightfall right now because A, I'm on the Xbox, finally, and B, we have a returning guest. Guest numero uno one. Numero thank you. Numero, <laughs> numero one. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming to my show, Tefty. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Wally. I appreciate it. I'm I'm um I'm in I need the I need the carry because I'm two seventy two right now. That's right, yeah. Uh, so we met off of LFG, yeah, right? Yeah, I, LFG, I said I was light level 310 with a year two galley. Yeah. You bit. That's that's what I was looking for. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was perfect. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it turns out you may have told a bit of a white lie. You're, you're 270-ish. <laughs> 270. With, um, listen, I, I actually just pulled, I have a hereafter that I could equip to get me to 275, but it's got arc burn. I need void burn with this sniper yeah, here, you, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need void burn. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is the toughest nightfall yet ever. It's it's random, so I don't know what it is, but it's really tough <laughs> from what I hear. So people have been talking about. I have not done this nightfall. I actually have no idea what we're looking into, what we've done. Yeah, I think I think it's uh, a la cool. Oh my god, a la cool. The, the dark, dark blade. Dark blade. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, this is, uh, this, is a, this is a good strike, man. This is the very I mean, first time for me doing the strike on this uh, on the system, too. Ha, I so, just got the Grimoire. So, so correct me if I'm wrong, they, did they talk about adding... I was reading the Bungie forms today because, you know, Halo 5 released mm -hmm. and there's, yep. there's a lot of popcorn going yep, on. Yep, yep, yep. Did they talk about adding the, like, the new or the old strikes into the new Heroic Strike playlist? Is I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's part of their content aggregation process where you know they're constantly refreshing stuff every week you know so like right. i'd imagine at one point suddenly sepix prime has got taken and modifiers enemies and all, all yeah enemies and all that and i think that'd be great i'd love that It'd be cool yeah yeah i'm way down to that uh, stuff that that that's my only problem really with with the current current model of how things heroic, are is, is because it's because yeah we don't play like the same uh I miss epics. Four or five strikes, yeah. Straight well, up. Okay, so, so lore-wise, you know, yeah. the other strikes, I think the reason they're out is because they're dead. Oh, okay. You know, like, like. Oh, interesting. I didn't even think about that. That yeah, kind of so actually makes dead. me sad. Yeah. So, that actually kind of makes sense, right? That makes a lot of sense. But from a from a gameplay perspective, it kind of sucks. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit of hard raid, uh, hard mode raid. What you think? Oh boy. Uh, I have a personal opinion, yeah. right? I'm, so, I'm, so this, from, this is why this is why I love you, Wally. I, your personal opinions my, are uh, are fantastic. So, so from my understanding is that they made hard mode originally, right? Mm -hmm. And then they dropped it down. Yes, so, they designed so, okay, it first so, with hard mode, and then they cut it back mm -hmm. for normal. So it makes sense, I think, that it's not as difficult as we thought. Okay. But uh, I, I think my biggest problem is the fact that uh, the gear drops suck big time. Oh, really? You're not liking the, gear drops? I don't. I don't think. Again, my biggest problem with Destiny is the reskin. Mm. That, that's my biggest issue. Okay. With it. Yeah. And I think it's cool that uh, you know you get harrowed versions of gear that's you know higher light and mm -hmm. everything. Cool, right? Yeah. But when you know that gear is not there's no extra perk on it. There's no real reason to run it except just to except for three twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like although I don't know that that skin is really sexy issue. though. You got to admit, it is sexy. Yeah, no, that darker is. version is like some mm -hmm. sexy looking weapon armor. The added mechanics where they did add them at least. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're good. We're good. Good changes. What do you Definitely think of the mechanics? So like, you know, we we know obviously how it already plays out. Now, what do you think? Like, do, should they have added more? Should they step kept where I, it is? Do you think more is coming I mean, with the like, challenge mode? I don't know what well, they could have added. Right now, it doesn't really feel like the the six orbs are useful. True. Yeah? True. Well, so how do you do your Golgoroth fight though? That's that's my question. One orb, yeah. One orb, yeah. Okay, so. Do you? So are you, I, you pro? You pro we, it? You, we do you six no, no, orb no. It? We do we do one orb too. Yeah, I mean the one, I think the, the one orb strat is like prevalent right now, and I think everybody's like, uh, they thought it was going to be a requirement to do six orbs, six orbs. and the, right. the tablet was going to fill up with each gaze fail. Orb use. You know? Oh, that's cool. I didn't think about that at all. Oh yeah, yeah. that was one of the that was one of the thoughts that like that's how it was going to change, and like that would have forced you to use all six orbs, if right. if the tablet filled up with when you lost the gaze. Mm -hmm. That would have been awesome. But would have been awesome. Yeah, but it's clearly not what they wanted. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. I didn't think about that at all. That's that's honestly yeah. Because the way it works now is like it's off whoever dies, but it's not. It's not just one death. It's like if you have three people die at the same time, it only fills up once. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So, do you think that's a bug actually? 
I think it's a bug, or it's just an oversight, or you know, they're like, oh, no one will die at the same time. I know, right? Oh, I just got destroyed. Witches don't change. Yep. Which is uh, interesting, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so again, the witches. I don't know. I just thought it was going to be instead of just the timer suddenly being like immediate. I thought it was just going to be more stuff to it. I really did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I was surprised that, again, but, like, my question always comes down to, like, what else could they add to those fights to make them more, yeah. you know, challenging to you? The, you know, the Witches originally was, I would say, semi-challenging. You know, mm -hmm. that, that entire boss phase really was, like, a DPS race in a way, yeah, especially if you did both of them in one go. Yeah, yeah, which, so, which even as, at lower light is still pretty possible if you're rocking black spindles and mm -hmm. touch malice and all that. My biggest complaint is the artificial difficulty. Mm -hmm. And that's like the extra light level. That's all that is. Yeah. And Oryx is absolutely going to be easier once we're all 315 and higher. Yeah. It's not oh, going to be sure. that difficult to fight. No, I mean, like I said, like when we were talking about this earlier, but when, when my team went into it, uh, we didn't do it at 307 because it was just a pain in the ass. We couldn't get past yeah. it. Yep. So we did three characters, and then we went back in and, and killed them at 310. Everyone's at 310. Yep. It took us a couple tries, but we finally got it. Uh, yeah, and that's what we had to do on stream, too. Like, we, we went in, we got to Oryx. Definitely got gear locked on Oryx. Then we did the other characters. And as soon as you hit 311, it's like night and day. Yeah. When you go from like 310, they're still red. 311, suddenly you can actually do some damage on that stuff. Mm -hmm. Which is real nice. I know. That, and then, like, that, that was always, that's always kind of like been my complaint with uh, the raid in general. Mm -hmm. Even the old hard mode raids was like, they're just upping it a couple levels so that you know the enemies do more oh, damage yeah. to you yeah you know what i mean yeah it's it is really difficult to bag the hard version just because the the raid itself is fantastic yeah. it is a great raid really entertaining it's fun to play over you know I'm, I'm not fatiguing on it uh it's just it's fun it's fun to teach mechanics too and they're interesting enough uh right i do think though that people thought that it was going to be just more difficult oh god like oh jeez. Dude, That's nice right. Void Sword. Nice. Thank you, man. You Delicious. Know, it's the Dank Drinker. The Dank Drinker, you know I mean? so good. It drinks all the memes. <laughs> it consumes the Dank Pepes. I, I was uh, I was wearing my Halloween costume on stream the other day, and a lot of people came in. They're like, "Bro, wearing a wearing goggles and that spinny hat. You're not cool, man." And I'm like, "I'm like, whoa, whoa it's, it's a my costume, Halloween bro. costume." Like, I thought it was fantastic. I, I saw it. I don't think people got it though. I was trying to be a YouTube comment, you know. And it, <laughs> just, I don't think it works really. That's mm -mm. no, too bad. I mean, well, think about it. Like, how would you embody a YouTube comment if you had to? <laughs> you know, like, it's not something that just comes to mind. Like, oh yeah, comment. that's easy. I could do that. No problem. Uh, you got a good point, man. I. I'm thinking, I'm racking my brain right now. How would, like, you could, you know what you could do, actually? Mm -hmm. You could, you dress up as a bag of salt. That's a YouTube comment. I could, my YouTube comment section <laughs> on my channel, for sure. That That is the embodiment. Oh, it tracked me when uh, I was invisible. Dude, uh, I, I, I can't show this on YouTube. <laughs> hang on. To continue our conversation of you know, Halloween costumes, Yes, right? yeah. How to be a YouTube okay. comment, which is fantastic, so, by the way. So, so I was, I wore goggles, because swig, yeah. right? That was my idea, swig. Uh, I wore the spinny hat to embody the the youth in myself. Uh -huh. I don't want to say like what demographic that I was embodying, but it was young, <laughs> very young. Yes. Uh, I had the neck beard going. That's that's like standard <laughs> apparel for me anyway. Neck so that's beard. not anything new. You know, the standard I mean? a standard issue neck beard. And Thank then you. I wore a super tight muscle shirt because uh, everybody on YouTube is super tough. <laughs> so I I too am super tough. So I don't know. I, I feel like I'm being very. Uh, not not being facetious enough. Dude, that, that was fantastic. Honest, but, I enjoyed it. But yeah, I, I bought a T-shirt today, mm -hmm. or I bought it a couple of days ago. I came in today, and it's just got a, it's got first on it, which is a bunch of like exclamation marks and warnings. Uh -huh. So that I probably should have worn that, and that <laughs> that would have been, it might have done really it. Embodied might have done it. Yeah, much better. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean? but like you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. As yeah, twenty twenty. Absolutely. All right. Hopefully, but, uh, I'm gonna be able to kill this shrieker. You know. It's okay, cause uh, I fell off the edge and. Oh my god! Everything is a mini boss in this run right Dude, now. Dude, for me, because I've ignored my Xbox account, which I uh, apologize. Oh, I don't worry about it. You know what I mean? It's like uh, <laughs> Xbox is only so good, you know. So. <laughs> I didn't intend to. It just ended up happening that way. 
So. No, there's actually a reason why I wanted you uh, to come on uh, sooner than later. You see, okay, so for the audience, so everybody knows, Wally was supposed to be on last week. He um, he couldn't Someone bailed he on couldn't me. be on because I had to uh, take care of obligations. So oh, I thought you were gonna say something else. I thought you were gonna be like, <laughs> just gonna, okay. just gonna buck, okay. pass the buck on you. <laughs> I wanted you to you're think good. I was gonna do that. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> um, Something uh, something very special has happened. Uh, so it is perfect for that you're on now because mm -hmm. you helped put together the stream team for Plant Destiny. Right, in, in, a, in a small way. Yeah, but you were you were a catalyst for putting it together, and we've reached a milestone on the stream team. That's right, yeah. We hit a hundred thousand uh, followers. Yeah, it's amazing. That's that's no joke. That is uh and and trust me, I know because we use it in my company's case study all the time to investors. Mm -hmm. That is a, a no joke achievement in five months, four, four months. I think it's six months because we started in so about May. Six months. I uh, I try to watch everybody as much as possible, but usually time, you know, is difficult. So I only can step in every now and then. But usually I'm, I'm trying to do my lurk, get my lurk on, you know. Right. I feel. Yeah, that. and I I enjoy your streams. They're awesome. I enjoy your commentary and I enjoy uh, the way you do questions and all that. Which is through HubTag, obviously, right? That technology. Yeah, is yeah, yeah. Yes, so we yeah we we do yeah a little shameless plug, but yeah. Um, Everything we do through Uptag. I mean, uh, I know you guys, uh, everyone uses it kind of like different degrees. Yeah. Like some um, some streams, I'll be hit more heavy into it. Other streams, like recently, yeah, because there's been more content to figure out, I haven't been using it as much because I'm more focused yeah. on the game. That's just because I'm not good enough to to multitask as much. <laughs> not I yet. Feel Anyways. Yet. Being able to interact with people, it's, it's way more important to me to be able to interact with someone on more than just chat. Yeah. So if they have a Twitter account and they want to like you know see their name up on Twitter or ask a specific question that say like you missed in chat yeah, or something yep. like that, you can totally do that. Yeah, absolutely. It's you it's know. great. It's fantastic. Yeah. So I, I like it a lot. And then just in general, this stream chat has always been it's very chill. Like mm -hmm. I, I've done a lot of streams before. I've done a couple different stream teams and uh, for different communities. And I will say that the Destiny community in general and, and the PD community sort of correlating to that yeah. is super awesome, yeah. dude. I, th I think that's one of the things that most people come to the chat that haven't been part of the stream yet. And they, they'll find that the chat is really welcoming and not mm -hmm. toxic. At least, you yeah, know, that's the biggest 99 thing. No of the one's time, toxic. It's not, not yeah. toxic. And that's so, sometimes, but, mm -hmm. you know, maybe that guy just had a bad day. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you, you don't know. So, yeah, I mean, that happens. You, you have so many varying talents that, uh, you know, just changes, I think, the way yep. everything's presented to people. Absolutely. That's yeah. probably the best part. Yep. Nice tether. Oh on. man, the damage. Making that. Oh yes. So, so <laughs> what's your most played class on the planet PlayStation side? Is it still uh, the hunter? Hunter. Still hunter, the hunter. Yeah. yeah. A tether. Pretty much all you use over there. Uh, no, not. A, I mean, I've kind no. of been going come back to golden gun every now and then, especially for PVP, like the tether. PvP, yeah. So, like, I really enjoy the smoke nade combo with the with the nades for PVP. Yes. That's really fun. I find the tether itself is kind of disappointing for PvP. Yeah, it's... Oh, hey, let me get this calcified fragment real quick. Oh, yeah, <laughs> make sure you get that. Because I haven't. <laughs> you need that. I haven't <laughs> gone you're, through you're, you're touch mouse. anything <laughs> this account. Oh, man. Well, hey, if you ever want to come over here and play with us peasants <laughs> on 792p, <laughs> uh, just let me know. You know Dude, I want it, man. I, this is, I, I've been wanting to play we'll my Xbox that. account. More, you know, which no, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just one of those things that, again, you know, we, we talk about it all the time. Yeah, and I like the fact that a lot of us are on on different consoles. I think mm -hmm. more of us though are on the PlayStation. On the PlayStation, though, right? I think yeah, staff right? in general. Yeah, there's a, a more bias towards PlayStation. Yeah, bias. That's a good word to use. Bias is key. Oh, yeah. dude, it is bias. Yeah, I mean, I'm fully biased. aware that there's like a. A certain snobbery associated with it. Yeah, you guys are mean, man. You guys are like really mean. And I have to get up and, you know, try to be professional and be like, no, he doesn't mean it. But, oh my gosh. I, I definitely don't intend to be that way. I like, I, I think the console, oh my God, you see this freaking shrieker closing up right at the very end? New boss, look at that. New boss. There it what? is. Oh. That's, that's the new mechanic. So look, annoying. It it's so annoying. Like oh my God. A joke. That's going to kill me. So Festival of Lights going on uh -huh, right yeah, now. Yeah, Festival of Light, yeah. And, or Festival of Lost. Or Lost, yeah. Festival Light. I, I was calling Festival it Light as well. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. I think it's like a great change. Last year they gave us Jack Light heads, and that was it. Yes. And it was like, hmm, that's cool, but not fantastic. 
Are we getting jackalot heads this year too? Because I haven't found any. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they drop actually. Dark blade. Okay. Do you think in Destiny 2 they're going to take a serious look at, uh, at, a, at a competitive, competitive game pipe? Yeah, like private servers. Maybe dedicated servers? Dude, I, you know, I've, I've racked my brain on it for a while and questioned whether or not that's actually going to become a reality. Yeah. And Trials of Osiris was a step in that direction. It was. It was, yeah. But ultimately, I think I'm more on the side that you've been talking about for a while. And that's Destiny just was never built for a competitive arena. It really wasn't. It was never yeah. built with that intention. And I honestly don't think it's ever going to reach that intention without some major changes. Really? Like like ever? Like even in its entire 10 year lifespan? You don't think it well, will, it'll make it? you know, it's, it's always tough to say like 10 years. Like 10 yeah, years, yeah, anything could happen. Like the game could go into third person MMO full on. <laughs> For all we know, if like mm -hmm. if things anime got characters, and yeah, anime is that we said body pillows. I'm down for yeah. that. Yeah. Like it's it's foreseeable that anything could change in in the ten year lifespan. So it's definitely possible that they might move to more competitive gameplay. But I don't know, man. I think you're right. the The level of variation in finding stuff it would have to be a different game. It would, it would, it would not be Destiny game. anymore. It's gonna yeah. be like here's your preset loadouts. And you can't play as a Sunbreaker because it's OP and broken. Right. Well, you know, there's a good portion of the community that disagrees with you that think that the rest of the classes deserve it. <laughs> but uh, no, I agree with you. I but in a competitive agree. sense, there's no way a Sunbreaker is balanced. Well, yeah, it's a, how do you balance supers, though? I think that's like the true question. Exactly. Like, they, they would have to break it down to being one super per game. Like, you only yeah. get one super and you only get it around halfway through the match. That's it. It's kind of how Trials works now, in a way. But well, kind of sort of, but the thing is, you can spec of. for supers. Like, that's you know? true. Oh god, he's gonna kill me. Be able to do that then. Oh, he didn't. He didn't kill me. Awesome. Well, okay. So, so the Kotaku article came out, right? And and that that article, I think, laid out a lot of what we know about where the game's going and, and why the game isn't where we want it to be and everything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of this is kind of already known information. You know, not the game engine stuff that that wasn't really known, but the information regarding. Uh, the story and its implementation and why it's so lackluster. Yeah. Right? We kind of kind of understood yeah. that. But I did not know about the game engine. Uh, that is brand new to me. I didn't know that it's so hard to develop for if that's actually the case mm -hmm. because you know, I want to clarify, the Kotaka article did not cite an individual as a source. Yeah. It said our sources. Right, 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 right. And that's for, for legal reasons, obviously. Yeah, right? yep, yeah. Because if somebody said, it, like I said this. going to get sued. Yeah. He's and, and I think that's, oh, that's pretty obvious. So, so that, that kind of makes sense. Like, you know, they, uh, if they want to add new locations, like adding the Dreadnought, I can see why this costed forty dollars because adding a whole new location. Yeah. If the tools are broken. Cheap. Yeah. Yeah. If the tools are broken, especially if that's the case. Which... Yeah. Like them talking about how it took a whole night to load up the Dreadnought and then to move one thing and compile it, it took like another like two hours or something. Mm -hmm. He almost killed me. I'm running. I, I, I think that. Sorry, uh, I think that that I went invisible. <laughs> He's going for you right now. <laughs> as a but as a as a game developer, you know, if you were like a developer, and I, I think you have some background coding on websites, yeah. so you uh -huh. kind of know what's yep. going on. If the if the platform that you were developing for, you know, like say it was a uh, like Cobra is an example, or, or Python. Python's an example. Okay, yeah. Um, and it was complete garbage. Mm -hmm. You know, anytime you wanted to go in and build out a new node for a website or something, it took you six hours to upload or the website to your actual computer oh and then another God. six hours to make the change That'd be painful and then another six hours to to do that all for like a 10 second fix yeah absolutely painful like you, the fatigue of development would just be astronomical you would not want to do yeah. that uh, no not at yeah. all you would be done yep. you, you'd, you'd hate your job and your and your wife and kids <laughs> and everything you know and it, it wouldn't be fun yes, yeah so, so i i understand so I think that Halo is is probably the best example of what they what Bungie definitely can do for uh -huh, Destiny yeah. 2 or Future Destiny. Dedicated servers, number one. Dedicated servers, absolutely, yeah. S 60 FPS. This is this is paramount, man. Can't play games and I don't I don't want to watch games in cinema film photography I know, anymore. Man. man, I know. That's 60 frames. Well, also the aim assist is heavily reduced in Halo. There is yeah, there's like no aim assist. No, there's and, there's and definitely aim assist, but it's so like minimal in comparison to Destiny cuz Destiny is 
maximum maximum aim yeah. assist. And well, gu- yeah, guns have specific aim assist values in Destiny. Yeah, like and that's it, no other like, game. Kinda, I, well, maybe there are I other games that shoulders. do that, but that's. Oh, look at that! Look at the carry. Thanks, thanks, Wally. Thanks. So are much. you gonna cut that part out too? Tempe? No, I'm, I'm, I'm flaunting that. I'm flaunting that ass. <laughs> yeah, Yo, look! <laughs> I got three hundred four gloves with <laughs> shotgun reload. Oh, yes! your favorite man. Yes! Everybody knows that late at night, <laughs> yes! what you do is you log in, you go rumble, and you use the last word in shotgun, right? Shotgun. That's yeah. what you do. Uh, universal remote. Universal remote. Yeah. Classic, <laughs> classic free for all. Uh, 12, 12 a.m. PST to 4 a.m. PST. That's where I'm at on my Xbox. Yes. Wants love it. Love me. it. Yeah. No, Halo, Halo does it, I think, in a different Like most FPSs do it in a completely different yeah. way. Uh, like competitive FPSs. They just offer bare bones and then they build on top of it. Destiny is a little bit different. It's not really built around bare bones. It's built around you know your character's super and its development, mm-hmm. and then you know then your weapons on top. Exactly. Of it, and then your gear. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I, I think it's possible. I think they they could totally figure yeah. it out. I think uh, you know other MMO games are good examples of like what arenas look like. You just you just award arena rated gear. Mm-hmm. You know, or something like arena rated weapons that you can only use in the arena, or you know you can use them in PVE too, mm-hmm. but they're only really useful in, in the arenas and when you want to play competitively you play against teams that are matched up to your rank yeah it's instead of the way trials and iron banner works which is essentially based off connection yeah well that's the other problem too is right now you go into halo again not to keep on harping on the fact that halo 5 is competitive feels competitive but uh it's a good game it yeah. is yeah you go into yeah. a, a 6v6 on destiny and you're almost guaranteed that one person is going to be god tier lag. <laughs> almost yeah. guaranteed. And they're most likely going to be a sunbreaker. You know, well, yeah, that's that's like the icing on the cake. If they're laggy and then they're the sunbreaker, it's like, yeah. Like they come around the corner and their animations are barely moving, like they're standing. And then suddenly you die from a hammer and they didn't throw the hammer. You just die from no, it. No, they didn't throw the hammer. Or the hammer, uh, you're behind cover, but the hammer comes through the wall after yes. you because, yeah, yeah. you know, on their screen, they, they've already hit you. Yeah. Yeah. That, I'd say, uh, no, that. I, I know, I know. J- job well done, GG. Full, full and well that the uh, <laughs> the lag of soul is the legit, the legitest class in the game so far. And, <laughs> lag and of can't soul. Can't wait, can't wait to play uh, <laughs> uh, trials, man. I don't know, like the night soccer one. I get that, like you, you know, they they brought back the night soccer a little bit, but why didn't they look at the the titan? They have to agree at least a little bit that it's semi unbalanced, right? Well, the problem with the balancing though is that it is, it's like integral to the actual super. To, to be fair, they have a they have a couple of things to look at. I'm not sure I'll play trials this weekend yeah. because I I as I don't care about winning or losing games. I obviously want to win. Yeah. But if I lose, I'd much rather lose to three hunters <laughs> than than <laughs> three, three sun, three sun bros. Yeah. You know. I mean, I hear you, man. Like, if you're three sun bros, essentially, it, as soon as it's as soon as they get the supers, that's round. Like, they have that round. Yeah. And they have three rounds technically because once one gets it, they have that round, yeah. and the second yeah. one that's enough. So they basically win three rounds. Yeah, if, they, if they're smart and they stagger it, then they're going to have three guaranteed wins. Oh, yeah, and then they then they dance on your corpse and teabag you and send you mean messages, and then it just you know you lose sleep and it it just goes on from there. Tefty, it's a terrible experience. So <laughs> you lose sleep. I love it. <laughs> Well, Wally, it's been a pleasure, man. Thank you so much for uh, joining for the Nightfall. Check out Planet Destiny, because I stream here, which is pretty cool. Uh, but no, other than that, uh, hopefully my lore videos will get released from captivity. I'm currently negotiating a, a very intricate deal with uh, the individual who has basically enslaved my lore videos that <laughs> they don't for some reason come out. Oh, Ho- get it. Hopefully... Hopefully Ryan doesn't hear that. No, I think Ryan, I, I, I mess with Ryan all the time on that. But yeah, lore videos will be coming out. I know people ask about that all the time. And, awesome. Uh, I'm working on those too. Hell yeah. So, yeah. Well, awesome, man. Well, once again, my name is Tefty Tef with Planet Destiny. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.